Hello guys, welcome back. I'm Ansel, and this time we're going to talk about Quicksilver No Surrender. A lot of errors here. Uh, number two. Uh, so we still don't know what the hell is going on, but it is really fun anyway. We have Pietro going around the whole world, running at very high speeds, fighting against a bunch of, let's say, Ghost Quicksilvers. Because he, he, like, has this issue, he keeps pointing out how all these weird beings are as fast as him, sometimes even faster than him, but all of them wear his face. So they are like a bunch of, uh, I'm gonna say ghost quicksilvers or, or mirror quicksilvers. Uh, quicksilver is too long. Mirror Pietros? Oh, no, that's shorter. So I might go with ghost Pietros or mirror Pietros. But anyway, uh, these ghosts are going around the world, uh, 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 as I said, on similar speeds. And they are trying to hoard people. At the beginning, they were trying to hoard like random people on the streets, and Pietro would get to save them. But now, they are attacking everyone that has something to do with Pietro. Uh, and, and, and they go for his daughter that I had actually forgotten about. Uh, they go for Magneto, uh, and they, they go for the Avengers. Um, and, and, and it's like they are ramping up. They are even going for people that, that, that are more, more important to, to Pietro. And, 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 and yeah, well, not much else happens. So in terms of what happens, I cannot say much more. It's just Pietro running around, chasing all these Pietros quote-unquote Pietros, color Pietros, color-coded Pietros, um, that are also running around trying to harm people that are important to him. Um, so I'm gonna have to get into a speculation territory. I do believe this is somewhat similar to what we found out about the Flash not so long ago, uh, that the Speed Force was created by him when he got his powers. Uh, and, and, and it was right then and there that the Speed Force uh, go backwards in time and forwards in time uh, to envelop everything about the multiverse. So, I'm not saying that it is a copy of that, but I'm saying that this uh, plane of existence has been created by Quicksilver's speed. Uh, th that is my take on it, or at least that's how it feels to me. Um, and these color-coded Pietros are like representations or manifestation of his emotions, his deep, dark emotions, his subconscious, if you will. Uh, because every human being, every person has like a dark side, uh, where all this the negativity usually ends up, and, and a lot of this um, is usually administered, let's say managed, by the subconscious. So, yeah, it really looks like, at least to me, that that is going that way. Uh, and if, if, if that is what's happening, then I will really, I, I, I will really be fine with it. I really, I will, really, I will love it. I will love it that to be true, uh, because it will make this story very, very interesting and very personal for our protagonist. And that might also have to do something to do with uh, the, the the title, the no surrender thing. Maybe he has to fight against himself in the situation. So I hope we get some more answers soon. And but before I give my grade, I have to mention that Pietro gets a pet in here, uh, and it is a very ironic pet. But I have to say that I have seen this before, and the the place where I have seen this before is a little unusual because it was on my little pony. So I don't know if it is a coincidence or someone has made a connection. But the, anyway, it, it, uh, for someone with this kind of power set to have a pet like like that. Uh, it, it is ironic, it is always funny, and it was very, 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 very cute to see Pietro talking to it during the, the, the mostly, uh, almost the whole issue. So that was, that was great. So because there are a lot of color-coded people in here, I'm gonna give these three and a half Power Rangers out of five. Um, it was really nice, it was a good continuation from last issue, and even though the plot didn't advance much, we got to see a lot of very nice action with a very nice art, with very nice um, comedic moments. And I think he has done a, a good job of preparing it for the next issue. Now, if next issue is once again just Pietro running around with all these other Pietros running around, then I will have to start subtracting points because two issues of that can be can be bad. Uh, um, just one is, is, is nice, I mean, it's a good take. 
Uh, on it, but too um, not so much. Uh, so, what do you think of this run so far? Do you like having a comic book focused on Pietro? I don't think we've had one of those in a long time. Uh, so, comment down below. Let me know what you believe on that, and click the like button if you like to see ironic pets. Uh, and thank you guys a lot for watching. And I guess I'll see you the next time.